Okay, no wait, no, we, we're 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 back in Chesapeake, but we're on the Western branch. Tell me this again. This is just so fascinating. This is the rich area. This is white people, right? White and rich black people. Uh huh. Western Branch Middle School down there. Down that way. And I'm about to show you where Western Branch High School is. Strawberry Farm is down there too. Uh, so, no, you say we're in Virginia in some sort of weird island. We're in Chesapeake right now. Right. But we just left Portsmouth. Right. I didn't notice. Well, I did notice a difference. This I is guess. the part of Chesapeake that is surrounded by Portsmouth. So it's the island of Chesapeake. Oh. Okay. It's an island off of Chesapeake. It's only a little strip that connects us to the bigger part of Chesapeake. Mm -hmm. So what's this noted for? What's this area noted for? I, I don't know. Football and academics. Oh, okay. We're the smartest school in Chesapeake. Who's smartest school? Where? I don't Western see no Branch. School. Where? Where's Western Branch? You're about to see the dynasty called okay, Western no. Branch. This is the primary. All the little white kids uh -huh. playing outside. Oh, this is intermediate actually. The primary is behind it. We actually, it's a primary, middle, intermediate, and high school. They have four schools. But it's in Chesapeake, but will they'll pay, take people in Portsmouth? What's no, going? no. You Chesapeake school, Chesapeake kids go no. to Chesapeake schools. Right, right, right. Portsmouth kids go to Portsmouth schools. You never switch your people. Hey, it's got illegal. Some woods there. Got some woods there. Some stories in this those woods. This is huh? the primary school. Okay, so it's immediate primary. And then the middle school we, huh. was the other street. Okay. But what school did you you went to the school here? We're no. coming up. We're coming up Cause to you, high school. Because you went to St. Mary's for... St. Mary's, then I went to... Um, Trinity Lutheran in New York mm -hmm. um, and then I went to Jollof. Jollof is the new school they built for us, the island of Western Branch for, uh, the, for the black kids. Well Jollof, is that where I vote? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, okay. That's the newest middle school and they okay. built that for the airline kids because Western Branch Middle was crowded. Wow, I've never even seen this. This, this is a new addition to the school. Mm -hmm. I did not have this when I went to school. So now you were saying that this school... This is high school right here. This is your high school. Mm -hmm. But now you were saying that if you was going through the halls in this high you school. Right here, actually. School, if you was going through the halls of this high school, be a lot of black kids out in the halls. Right. I don't understand this. What do you mean? You would, you would think that it was an all-black school because all the black kids hung out in the halls. But when you look at the yearbook, it's 75 to 80% white. <laughs> that's why it's funny when people ask me, you know, you went to Western Branch. Oh, that's, you went to a white school. And I'm like, well, I couldn't tell because all the black people was out in the hallways. But in classrooms, you could tell that we were the minority because it was only like two, three of us. And then the rest of the kids were white in our classroom. But they, the, the academics and the education is amazing. Mm. Well, hey, Lex, I never knew all this about that. You can and I was in honors classes too. So I was, there was one white black kid for every honors class. <laughs> So you wait a second. So I always took fast-paced math. <laughs> so you're saying that you were the uh, you were the token. <laughs> but you saw the black kids in sports because oh. they dominated track and football, and that's what we're known for now is track because we have an Olympic coach, Toots, who just retired actually, but he came my junior and senior year, and um, he turned this whole track program. Around. We're like the best in the nation wow. for track. You, when you you say Western Branch, they're like, wow, that's like the best track. They all got scholarships. Everyone on the team got scholarships. Mm. We I I know a professional runner now because of that because mm. she came from Western. We have a tennis team. Who is that? They got to name the person. Uh, Jesse Gaines. Oh, okay. That's her name. Mm, 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 mm. See, wow. we have a tennis. They, we play tennis for gym. White people stuff. <laughs> we don't do that in the black schools. They don't have tennis courts in black schools. <laughs> This well, is their gym class. Well, it's may, playing tennis. Well, maybe they do now because no, of Serena. They don't. No, <laughs> you don't. If you don't see a tennis court on there, they don't play tennis. So oh, wow. we have tennis, football. We have a swim team. Is it a big stadium? It's a stadium um, right they. It's just a normal high school stadium. Mm -hmm. They haven't gone all out because they're not going to put all that money into building a new stadium. But it does get crowded. We have a um, baseball team, golf team. Swimming. Hmm. Swimming. I always say swimming, mom. Swimming team. Yeah, was what, what? What? was Okay. I haven't been here in years. So I never knew. I didn't know you during your Soccer high school team. years because mm -hmm. this is when you changed. You became the Southern Princess that we all know now. That you know. I was going to be on that swim team, but I went to tryouts <laughs> and they said, "Oh, I didn't know black people could swim," and I walked right out. And Whoa. they didn't even know I was swimming for ODU's junior aquatic team, which you actually have to try out for, and you just can't just join them. Mm. So I missed my opportunity with that too because I got in my feelings and I never went back. Mm -hmm. 
We actually have a gymnastics team too. We do have a gymnastics team, but they have all they every sport they have it except hockey maybe or something like that. Wow. I didn't know you. This is the session. old part of the school, and then that new part you seen is the new part. Is the second floor. We used to have portables out here, like trailers. That's how crowded the school was. We needed trailers, but they got rid of all the trailers because it did look tacky, and they built an addition to the school. Wow. I was in ROTC. We have Air Force ROTC here. You know, that's how I was able to rank high before I left the military. <laughs> I came in as an E3 and left as a nothing. <laughs> But thank you, RTC, for, you know. But, yeah, this is the rich area. Well, kind of. Wow. This is, like, middle-class rich. And then across the street where we was coming through was um, upper class. So what? So after you get up, the people always kept on saying, oh, you talk so well. Or did they, did they give no, you because that was the norm. Uh. So that wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, you talk so well. That was just what everybody did. It's when we went into the horse side that we realized, oh, everybody is not... You know they're not the same. So if you, you know, well, you have stereotypes all over the place, but uh, particularly in Virginia, there's a certain kind of, I guess, what do you, what do you call it, mentality? Or you, do you think your high school has a certain? I guess the word they use these days is culture. You know what I mean? What, 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 what makes y'all so different? You know? Um, are you talking about my generation, yeah. or are you just talking about You're Chesapeake just, people? Well, Ches Chesapeake, well, Chesapeake people, whatever. Um, what makes us different? But this area of Chesapeake, like you can say, Chesapeake is all spread out, whatever. I feel happens. like what we're the most isolated, so we all we ha all we have are each other. So it's like, um, I don't know, because Virginia to me is is all the same, but Chesapeake, we're just known for a lot of things, a lot of shallow things, like learning for known for like good looking people. We have the best looking people in the whole state of Virginia. <laughs> that's what we know. That's It's true. If you ask people, they're like, who had the best looking girls? They will always say Chesapeake girls. And then Virginia Beach. And then, it, you know, just just young stuff that we ranked each other on. Mm -hmm. But academics, we were definitely known for academics. Mm -hmm. Sports, we're, we're known for football and we're known for track. But that's like the only thing they care about in high school, honestly. Yeah. So we're big. This is a big football community. Oh, here, here we have my favorite Taylor Road because this is where the library. Yep. Library's here. Hey, my favorite place. Well, listen, Alexis, thanks for this little tour of your... I didn't know that you grew up... I don't want to say white, but you grew up... <laughs> you, you, grew, you grew up black in a white... Black surrounded yes, by white, but, they, but you kept your, your blackness. Other, your, how did the, let me ask you this. How did the black culture survive in this all-white, well, in this uh, affluent white situation? I will say this. Where I grew up was airline. Mm. And this is Dunedin. So amongst Western Branch, amongst the black community, you have Dunedin and you have Airline. That mm. was the only two black areas mm. of Western Branch. Mm. And I thank God that the, um, what is it called? Like the the borderline for us going to Western Branch and mm. we didn't go to Deep Creek, which is also another Chesapeake school, but it's more like a black Chesapeake school. Mm -hmm. Like we were able to go to Western Branch and not Deep Creek. So we got the best of both worlds. We grew up in a black area, but we went to a white school and it gave us, you know, culture. Now this is the black area. This is the other black. This is called Dunedin. Mm -hmm. this is the only black areas of Western Branch is Dunedin and um, Airline. But I will say this is a mixed community. So it's not just rich white people. It's rich black people. I went to school with some rich black kids that I was like, wow. And um, they actually lived in plantation farms. Well, wait, 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 okay. <laughs> in, that, in that cultural breakdown, what was the difference there? Was there a difference? Did the black kids say, oh, these are snooty people? What, 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 did you get along with? No, what? everybody. It's like we all treated each other. It, be going to this school... At the time, it's like we didn't even know the difference between, you know, like, we didn't, you know, because you could be a poor, popular guy at Western Branch, or you could be a whack, rich guy. So, it was like, it was all about your character. It really wasn't about your money, because we just, we were so small that it was only so many people here, so many people there. Everybody just kind of just, you like who you like. We didn't separate by class. Mm. It was just by how you acted. Mm. You were the cool or not. Okay. Quiet or loud. Well, we have to have another little chat. I like this. I like learning stuff about stuff that I didn't know about you since I 
left you as a tie, not a tie, as a whatever. I but, will say this one oh. last thing about Western Branch. Even though it was a small island, we were a big school. Like we were, I graduated with 648 kids in my class. That's a, huge. So that's just the seniors. Mm -hmm. The freshmen when we came in was over a thousand. So it was a big class. It wasn't much as a big area. We're just away from everybody. It's Chesapeake is huge. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. They have like six, seven schools. It's it's huge. Mm -hmm. Western Branch is a is a huge school. Okay.